We're getting ready for the summer season. Now that we're into June with some yummy recipes that uh, actually won't break the bank. Great to have registered dietitian Michelle Jalen back on the show, making the canteen smell so delicious. Yes. Uh, what you got spinning up there, Michelle? So I got here some spinach as well as black beans, and we are making an egg black bean spinach quesadilla. So I have two eggs here, and I just added in some hot sauce, salt, pepper, and some garlic powder, and I'm gonna put that in. Now, you're kind of like making, you know, like scrambled eggs. You know, people try to make an omelet and they flip it and it doesn't go well. And mm -hmm. I'm like, that's totally fine. You know, just keep cooking it and... Yeah, uh, you're sneaking in some legumes in there. Yeah, we need vegetables. And also, I love eggs because they have six grams of protein per egg and 14 vitamins and minerals to help you reach your health goals. So when that is cooked through, what I've done while I do that, is here I've actually brushed two whole I can do something, I'm just, I just have to stand here. You want me to do something? Or you've already done everything, already you've already done brushed it. it. Okay. Yeah. What did you brush it with? Uh, just a bit of oil right. on one side, and then when the eggs are done, that's gonna go, I'm just gonna put that on the side so that we have the pan again. And normally you'd wipe up the pan. Right. And then I'm gonna add this. Oh, just to heat those up a little heat bit. Heat those up I'm, too. I'm with you. And then the egg mixture, oh, before that, we're gonna put in some cheese. It adds extra flavor, and it just, I just find it makes people um, more excited about quesadillas. Good whole wheat wraps. Yeah, good whole wheat wraps as well. And then I put my eggs in. They're farm fresh, going from four to, going from the farm to store in just four to seven days. So that goes in there too. And I'm gonna top off my other one with some cheese first. Could this be deemed breakfast for dinner? Yes. I love a good absolutely. breakfast for dinner. Absolutely, and also really affordable. So that goes on top. And then when that's ready, you're gonna flip it. And then when it's done, it looks like this. Yeah. And I just serve it with some salsa, some hot sauce, um, or some hot sauce, or you can also add in some sour cream uh, to dip it as well. And it's a great way, like eggs are pretty affordable mm -hmm. as well, and also versatile. They go in many recipes like this one, and also um, an egg potato salad recipe that we have right here. Okay, so this one is, so this is egg potato salad. Yes. Okay, so what kind of potatoes we got in there? Just regular, you know, yellow potatoes. I just yeah. go for what's on sale, honestly, like right. most of the time, because food is expensive these yeah. days. And then what I've done is, I've actually swapped out a third of the mayonnaise, I mean two thirds of the mayonnaise for Greek yogurt instead. Okay, you can't really tell. You can't tell. No, because mayonnaise is like the key ingredient to, I any, know. to any good like I know. egg salad. It's like a healthy twist, right? So three eggs in there. I've also got dill, some paprika, as well as some other um, salt and pepper as well. Some pickles are in there as well, give it that tankiness, but super versatile recipe and then lots of other ideas at getcracking.ca. So. Okay. Here was, I was gonna go back in with my fork but I get, uh, I get roasted because a lot of the time I'm using my fork and then I'm going back in. So I'm gonna serve myself some right here so you can't send those angry emails about me double dipping. Oh. Right there, okay. So while, while I'm eating your delicious egg salad, what do, yes. we got here, what do we got here in the end? So the last one here is I always like to go for seasonal fruit, right? Because it's really good to just buy seasonally. It helps to save you money. So of course I've got berries here. I've got watermelon. That's in season right now. I'm gonna make a really quick, easy dressing. It's just got some oil as well as some balsamic vinegar. Um, and then I'm going to actually put in some salt and some pepper in it, just a little bit, uh, just to you know make it a little bit, give it See, a See, I wouldn't think about doing all this with fruit. I know. And then pour it on top, okay. too, on your dressing. And then you're gonna mix that up. Mix that up, okay, we yeah. got 30 seconds. Okay, and then you're gonna put that on the plate. And then I'm just gonna top it with some crushed nuts here. I've got nut, toasted nuts here. Here I'm using almonds, but you can use whatever you want. And then a little bit of goat cheese, and it just, just adds right that little top. extra tangy. Sorry, I'm, yeah. using, I'm using my fingers. Yeah, that's fine. That's <laughs> totally fine. <laughs> it's good. It's all good. And it's actually a nice way to kind of bring out the flavors of the fruit, but also add a little extra dimension. You got that savoriness. Okay. You got a little bit of saltiness. We got to go. So where, where can they find the recipes? Uh, MichelleJalen.com. Yay, Michelle. Ooh, that one's good. Yeah, it's really good. They're all good, but thanks, thanks Michelle.